Hello everyone, for wherever you're watching, CGTN is bringing you live again from Chaga Lake in northeastern China, Xilin province. And joining our live show today is my colleague Yu Li. Hey, uh, it's your first time being here. Yeah, I'm a here. first timer. I'm very excited. And uh, <laughs> I've got the chance to see the, uh, the fishermen dug a hole mm -hmm. to uh, deploy the net. Yeah under the ice but mm. i never got a chance to see mm -hmm. fish popping up uh -huh. uh, on the ice so it's right. very exciting and uh, i'm waiting to be amazed yeah hopefully <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna have some good news today but uh -huh. uh, in the past couple of few days time uh, the total yield of uh, a fish here is i think it's exceeding over 150 tons That's 150 a lot. tons yeah yesterday was a, was a was a was a good day for the fishermen and uh, just before we go any further, we might have a special situation here because uh, uh, it looks like the fishing net was broke uh, for some reason. But anyway, uh, they are fixing it. So uh, I does think does that happen a lot? Uh, sometimes it does, uh, especially when we are having a, a big yield of fish, a fish on the day. And uh, yeah, let's just give our viewers uh, for for those who haven't been. Uh, familiar with the uh, ice cream tradition in Chaga Lake. We see the uh, the winch over there. You know, it's just the man and the horses who will do the job here in Chaga. No more the machinery involved. You know, the way it works is pretty straightforward. You've seen it yourself uh, in the past few days. Yeah. Uh, the Mongolian fishermen they got up quite early. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I, uh, I heard this place is called the last hunting and fishing tribe in yeah. the northeast China. So because of the uh, the well-preserved culture here, yeah. Yeah. it's been a thousand year long history. Yeah. Yeah. And they keep uh, being uh, living like mm. this, mm -hmm. never changed. Never changed. It's amazing. Yeah, it's, uh, the tradition can be dated back to as early as the Liao Dynasty or Jin Dynasty, Liao Jin Dynasty. And it shows the kind of uh, 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 the strength of uh, our ancestors uh, when they're trying to survive in a long, harsh winter. Wow. <laughs> yeah, the winter here can last for over half a year, usually from December to the uh, to, to April in the following year. Just very harsh here. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. My eyes are watering already. <laughs> I can't believe the fishermen can uh -huh. work here for months in such an uh, terrible environment. Yeah, I think to be honest, I think they will got used to the uh, the cold weather here, and uh, normally people uh, they go up pretty early in the morning, usually around three to four a.m. when uh, it's still dark. So, uh, and the head of the crew, the fishing crew, is someone who is very experienced. Uh, he will tell where to go because this is about the biggest freshwater lake in China mm -hmm. uh, with the size of over 50 football stadiums. Mm -hmm. So the spot, the location is very important. It can be a good day of fishing, it can be a bad day of fishing, all depends on the location. So the head of fishing crew is someone who is very experienced to determine where to fish for the day. Yeah, it mm. takes years for him to master these uh, mm -hmm. kind of skills, Yeah, right? Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Uh, just give our viewers some uh, uh, panorama view of uh, the, the surroundings. You know, the, uh, the Asian fishing tradition, the techniques, is pretty straightforward. You know, uh, we have a fishing net over with a perimeter of over 2,000 meters. So the question for many viewers is that how they cast such huge nets under the frozen lake. I yeah. have a question about uh, that too. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, it's like a Chinese needling, you know. Uh, every morning the fisherman will drill, ho hold on a minute, I think we've got the, uh, let, let them show you how to drill the ice hole. Where is that tool, special tool, it's like a stick. Somewhere. But anyway, let's continue. Right? We will see that probably down there. They use a long stick and then they drill holes in a circular okay, this direction. This way. In a circular direction. So these are the nets you're using. Yeah. The this length of it uh -huh. is two thousand meters meter long. You see the hole, the mesh here is big enough to let smaller fish uh, uh, to swim away. So by doing that, they only catch the big fish or medium-sized fish. So they, pre they are pre preserving the 
there will be fish to be, uh, to be catch year on year. So they're also teaching me uh, the resources for future generations. Now here it is. Do you want to try it? Have a go. It's all yours. Okay, what, yeah. one moment. Sorry, uh, sorry. sorry. Oh. <laughs> uh, anyway, okay, so this is the tool they use to drill ice holes. And in a circular direction, every 10 to 15 meters. And uh, after that, they will use a, a stick like this. Oh, there's a fish. Uh huh. The big hat carp. Okay, it's not that big. Uh, uh, it's it's small. rather small. It's rather small, well, judging by Chagan standards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the stick they use, the long stick they use. See, see this small hole here? Okay. So the fishing net is uh, dragged by this long stick and the, the ice hole. It's like needling, you know, so in a circle direction. So, and the last ice holes over there, we're, we're, which we're going to see later on, is where the wind cut the fish mm. by horses. Mm. Uh -huh. okay. I heard that you've been to the uh, Culture and Hunting Museum yesterday. Uh, yeah. Yes. How was uh, How was your visit? Um. Mm. Quite amazing. I yeah. learned a lot about this place. Um, mm -hmm. This is a very um, resourceful place. Yeah. Not only uh, fish, mm -hmm. fishing. Uh, there are a lot of animals living here. Some are protected by the uh, nation, by the country's law. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of uh, plants here. Uh, I, I heard there's a plant production made uh, made of water. It's yeah. a material to make wa uh, make paper mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in this place, yeah. just near near the lake. Yeah, yeah. So this is a very good place. And uh, in Liao dynasty, dynasty about 1,000 years ago, mm -hmm. the two countries, Liao and Jing had had a fight, had a war mm -hmm. to win this place. Right. And Jing got the place, and mm -hmm. and uh, the the country is just very happy and have a, memo a memorial, to, mm -hmm. a mo monument yeah. to remember it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I had yeah. an impression of this place. Yeah, and also I think nowadays it's become more green in terms of the. Uh, the environment here. We see the uh, all the banks. You know, when I first got here in uh, in 2012, mm -hmm. you know, it's not it's the banks. Some of them are broken, so now they have reconstructed the bank. And also, we see the wind power generator has been installed. Mm -hmm. You know, during the summer season, uh, you can see all the uh, surroundings are full of green and plants. So the locals want to protect the, uh, the ecosystem of the lake. And private fishing without permission is strictly prohibited here. Uh, and also you, you see there's no modern machinery, there's no emission, no emissions on the lake. That is why the fish from Chagan is totally free from, you know, any sort of polluters uh, and additives. Summer as well, I heard. Yeah, summer. They, not. They let go the small fish. Yeah, they always let go the small fish. To protect the, to, to make sure there's uh -huh. always fish to be to the fish. Okay, that is a big one. Hold on. Oh. I think this one weighs over 20, mm -hmm. over 10 kilograms. I think, judging by the size of it. Uh. It's not frozen yet. It's not frozen yet. Just come on. Uh -huh. Okay, be careful. I can, I can smell fish now. <laughs> can you? They are coming. <laughs> <laughs> are you a good cook? No. No, no not at all. <laughs> yeah, you, you tried the fish from Chagan. How was the taste? Uh, uh. It is uh, <laughs> a bit I, I salty, yeah. yeah. <laughs> because the way you cook it here, and people people pre prepare, the, they, they prefer something very strong. They put money, uh, uh, garlic and soy sauce. Uh, because uh, 
in the winter it's here it's cold. They prefer something oily and salty to make you get more energy. I, I think one fish can feed a whole family. Well, you, definitely, definitely. One, I, I uh -huh. <laughs> when I first caught the fish on the table. Yeah. And the best way to cook them is by stewing it. It's not that difficult. You need a big pan though. Uh -huh. The pan big enough to put the whole fish down. And uh, you know, you put everything, garlic, ginger, vinegar, soy sauce, and make sure you, uh, you do the stewing uh, properly. You know, the, the, the more time you spend on stewing, the better it tastes. That's my experience. Okay. Right, okay, that's the final plate. That's the final iceberg where they winch up the fish. You know, people here, you see the visitors, as well as the local journalists are gathering around. Well, one fisherman is mm. washing the net yeah. because it's muddy yeah. coming out from the uh, water. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, we haven't seen any fish yet. It's because yesterday was a, was a good day and uh, we see the uh, the storage facility was, uh, was, was packed with nothing but fish, so they are calculating the, uh, the, uh, the, the yeah, storage. yeah, yeah, definitely. But tomorrow is the opening ceremony for the annual fishing festival, uh, and uh, we, uh, we were told that tomorrow they will uh, go further in the center, in, towards the center of the lake, where usually uh, the highest amount of fish were caught in the previous years. You know, sometimes a good day of fishing can yield over 200 tons of fish. 200 tons of fish. Yeah. That's, that's more or less the weight of one Boeing 737 aircraft. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've done the research, yeah. It's pretty impressive. So all of the fishes you're talking about in yields mm -hmm. mm -hmm. are pulled up by mm -hmm. the horses and manpower only. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, and the, the other thing, even though I've been here many years, but still, I think uh, from my perspective, I think the beauty of ice fishing in Chaga Lake, or anywhere in the world, is that you never know what the catch of the day will be, you know, after you put all the hard work, all the dedications, but still you can have a, a lucky day. So it's like life you know, here, you know, but if you just keep on doing it, you know, your persistence will conquer all the resistance. I think that's the beauty of Chaga Lake, you know. The, you know uh, so have you been to the, uh, the open air fish market yet? No, no, I haven't. Yeah? You should, because you should, you, you should buy some fish for your uh, family and friends. Uh, I personally recommend you not to buy the, 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 big, uh, the big one, because it's difficult to cook them. You know, you, you, you need to have a, a new refrigerator <laughs> <laughs> just to store these fish. But you can still cut them in several parts and then cook them, uh, you know, not just in one meal, but, uh, you know, throughout the winter time. You know, the new year, the, the, uh, the, 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 the new year eve is approaching as well as the new year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fish means lucky to Chinese people, yeah. uh, traditionally. Uh, every meal for mm -hmm. the spring festival has, there has to be uh, including fish. Yeah, yeah. You know, do you know, do you know how much the, uh, the, uh, the biggest fish caught on the uh, opening ceremony I, I heard was sold during the auction? 30,000, 30, 30, 30, 30, no, 300, 300,000, 300,000, yeah. 300,000, yeah. 300, yeah. for one fish? Just for one fish, because uh, many local companies, uh, you know, because fish, as, as you said, it represents prosperity and wealth, and uh, in the Mongolian uh, the fishing tradition, that fishermen believe that whoever catch the biggest fish on the day will have a prosperous year ahead, okay. so that's the question has been passed on to but the uh, I, local. I gotta ask this question, what mm -hmm. happened to the fish? Uh, you mean the so one, the one being sold? The biggest one, yeah. Oh, uh, right. Okay, the money generated from the auction uh, will be reinvested by local authorities into uh, the ecosystem, protecting the ecosystem of the lake. Okay. So they use 
that money to to buy fish fries, to grow trees, to uh, to repair roads, etc. And I think, well, you had to ask the one who bought it. <laughs> I honestly didn't know how they did it. Did they eat it? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's too costly, though. A meal costs three hundred thousand yuan. If you don't eat it, uh -huh. what can you do with it? <laughs> well, I think it comes with a package. You know, I think that uh, in not last year, but in the past, uh, there was one private company who bought that fish during the auction, mm -hmm. and uh, they were given uh, like uh, 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 several trucks of fish, so they used that fish uh, as a, a gift for their year. Yeah, 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 the okay. charity. Yeah, so not just one fish, but, uh, but it, looks it means a lot. It means a lot. It means a lot to local people. Mm -hmm. Okay, you are watching CDTN live from Chagan Lake in northeastern China's Yilin province, where the ice fishing, the yani ice fishing, winter fishing takes start here. And tomorrow is the opening ceremony for the ice uh, fishing festival, where you will be able to see the ritual of uh, worshipping the net, uh, sorry, worship, uh, worshipping the lake and then wake up the net. Uh -huh. You've seen that in the past before, the, uh, the special ritual of worshipping the net and wake up the lake? Uh, no, I haven't. I, I have seen uh -huh. that uh -huh. on, on uh, the internet, not uh -huh. in person. Not in person. Well, tomorrow is, you, you see more, many visitors will many visit. Many activities. Yes. No, oh, I, I learned from the museum mm -hmm. yesterday, mm -hmm. there are a lot of culture mixed in mm -hmm. this ritual. Mm -hmm. There are a Tibetan Buddhism culture, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, Sama culture mm -hmm. and uh, another one I can't remember them all but mm -hmm. this place is a very uh, mixed mm -hmm. place mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see uh, the Mongolian fishermen uh, dry, uh, uh, dressed in uh, uh, ship skins and uh, they will present their special rituals uh, because the net has to be wake up first uh, 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 before the fishing can The can ritual take, is actually start. begin from uh, uh, Yuan, dynasty, Yuan Dynasty when mm -hmm. uh, Genghis Khan, mm -hmm. the king mm -hmm. of Yuan Dynasty, started mm -hmm. because he believed mm -hmm. uh, his victory mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. the help mm -hmm. of heaven. So, ah. And he believes this lake is a lucky place. He right. loves this lake. A right. lot. So right. he he, he holds mm -hmm. the activity, ritual activity every mm -hmm. year okay. as a symbol okay. uh, to have a good uh, luck okay. for every year. Right. Okay. That's very fascinating facts. You know, the museum. You know. Uh, uh, sorry, I want I want to ask you that the museum is it open during the winter time or just during the summer time? Uh, they they usually open just uh -huh. in summer, but uh -huh. this year they uh -huh. open in winter. But uh -huh. I couldn't find the bathroom because it's all frozen. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay, there was no there was no central heating. Yeah. Or the it hasn't been turned on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The pipeline, mm -hmm. the pipeline mm -hmm. under underground are mm -hmm. frozen. Oh, okay. There's no water supply there, oh, so so they shut down all the restrooms. Oh, okay. But that's one thing we need to tell them that uh, you know you need to get it prepared <laughs> or don't uh, drink a lot before you visit the museum <laughs> yeah. definitely oh, definitely yeah okay people are still waiting here yeah. mm -hmm. Seems we still need a little patience, patience to yeah. see the uh -huh. yeah because it, uh, it takes a lot of effort to uh, mm -hmm. fishing like this. They yeah. they they are like uh, lowering the net uh -huh. at dawn uh -huh. every day, right? Yes. And and the real fishing mm -hmm. time, the exciting time is mm -hmm. uh, how many hours hours later? Yeah. Maybe uh, four to four to six hours later. Yeah. Like right now. Uh -huh. It takes a lot of effort. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think uh, in my uh, uh, in my point of view that we, we uh, this year the the the, the, uh, the number of visitors are not that uh, many as in the past. Yeah, but there are several reasons. People saying maybe it's just the uh, any pandemic measures yeah. imposed across the country because people people were advised not to leave their cities or their towns unless it is necessary. Uh, so we're getting less visitors, but still more fish are being sold on the internet. 
So, so I, I think this place mm -hmm. is, is the tradition mm -hmm. um, matches so well with mm -hmm. the modernity. Ah. Because the way of fishing is mm -hmm. a tradition, and mm -hmm. the way of selling fish is modern because they sell it for, through uh, e-commerce platforms. Which yeah. Is modern. Yeah. This is a magical uh, thing in uh -huh. this uh, place. Yeah, in the past, you can only drive here to buy the fish right on the spot. But now we have more digital channels. Yeah. Uh, you, know, you can get your fish freshly freezed on your dinner table in a couple of days' time. You know. If you have any questions, please do feel free to drop us an email or leave a message uh, in terms regarding uh, ice fishing in Chagan Lake. Uh, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> you have to buy the fish in the uh, storage facilities just behind the hotel we stood, where we, uh, we, we were staying at. In the past, there was a truck uh, just by the fishing hole. There was a, a, there was a price list there. Uh, you, you, can, you can buy the fish and then you know, just wait, just, just see how, how much it weighs and then you can pay in so cash. You buy the fish on spot. You can, as but not this year. Yeah. Uh-huh. You this can. This year is different. different. Oh, hold on. I think you can. There was a price tag over there. I think that board over there, you see that board? I think that was the price. Oh, yes, you can buy it. Let's see the yeah. price. Let's see the price. See the warning signs. No dangerous driving on the lake. Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay. They did have some serious accidents in the past. Yeah. If you get some drivers, they were not familiar with the how to master this kind of uh, road conditions or ice conditions. Uh, right, so that's the price. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, Shane. That's the most popular one. This big head cup. Big head cup from Chaga Leg. Uh, I think it's Jin. Uh, so so it's like four, yeah. So it's, so it's forty times twice, uh, times two. So it's forty yuan per kilogram. Or uh, twenty yuan per Jin. Oh. So. Uh huh. Big cat cup is the most delicious one. Most delicious one, and the Li Yu. The Chinese cup is also is also uh, 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 popular. And shrimp. Mm. Right. And also, we were told that uh, the, the, the fishing crew will hire local farmers during, during the fishing season, uh, which is a good way for the farmers to earn extra money just before the spring festival. Okay. Uh, the average pay per day is about 100 to 200 yuan. Okay. So the fishing season lasts around two to three months' time. So the local farmers they can 
do the crop work during the yeah, spring. It's a part-time job. Yeah, part-time job during the winter time. Cash, yeah. Active money. So it's, it's uh, increasing their income, hence to uh, bring them, you know, a better living standard. Okay. Uh, wow. So the annual ice fishing tradition not just enrich the cultural heritage, but also enrich the, uh, the local economy and the other people's, people's uh, livelihood. Pocket. Yeah, pocket. Yeah. Okay, there's another one. You can, you can tell the big head cup. Well, no, this is not. You see this line here. Uh-huh. If, if you see this line, then this is not big head cup. No, you see, from the big head cup, you can't tell the the, uh, the difference between this one and the big head cup, but you turn it over, if, if the big head cup hasn't got this line, so this is not a big head cup, we're going to show them another one, hold on, over there. Anyway, we'll get some more. Okay, hold on. They're getting getting started. Started. Okay. All right. Be careful. It's very slippery here. Okay. I think it's about the time. But uh, we will let the viewers have more. Time. Leave more time for the viewers. Yeah, the uh, no, viewers won't go without seeing any fish. <laughs> uh, so we'll, we'll let them have their special moments, and uh, we'll leave the uh, the cameraman here for the next 10 to 15 minutes and see if we're having some good luck today. Here's a big one. See? Ah, uh, ah, uh, yes. Here he comes. Very impressive. Okay, we are getting some questions from our viewers. Okay, uh, Winterberry said, happy ice fishing. You see, still have lots of fun in winter. Uh, and uh, also... Someone wish us good luck. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, the other one asked, where is the freezer? It's in China's northeast Jilin province, uh, the city of Songyuan. The lake is called Chaga Lake or Chaga Noor, right? Chaga Noor, in Mongolia. In Mongolia. In Mongolia. In Mongolia. Yeah. Uh, you can take a flight from Beijing to Chaga Lake Airport. <laughs> uh, there was an airport uh, just being constructed three years ago. As I just said, the, the uh, annual ice cream tradition has also enriched the local economy. So the, the, uh, the high speed rail uh, also uh, is underway and the new airport has been constructed. So two hours flight from Beijing, uh, there's also a flight, direct flight from Shanghai and Guangzhou as well. Or you can take the high speed train to Changchun, the also city, and then you can take the shuttle bus from Changchun to Songyuan to Chaga Lake. It's about one to two hours journey. Mm -hmm. There's a question asking, I don't understand why the, the most delicious mm -hmm. uh, is cheaper than some items. Uh, well, it's, uh, it's refer uh, referring to the uh, uh -huh. big head carp. Big head carp, carp right? Because they are yeah, uh, they are over seventy types of fish in Chaga Lake. Uh -huh. A big head carp is the most popular one. Uh -huh. they, yeah, it also means that uh, they are the more. Number they are, yeah, the number. The percentage of big head carp is bigger, so okay. that is why the price is cheaper. Okay. For the other one, obviously, it's not that taste that good, but it's more expensive because we are getting less of that. But it's just my recommendation that a big head cup is is perfect. It's it's, it's fantastic in terms <laughs> of the taste. 
not that uh, there, are, there, there are not that many bones uh, in the big high cup, mm -hmm. so it's it, it also suitable for for the uh, older uh, people, uh, older people <laughs> and also the kids. And so it's a meal for, for the for the whole family. Right. Okay, and the uh, uh, CTM will have more story. I think you have more stories coming up in the next few days' time. Uh, yeah, I got uh -huh. one introduced the tools. Oh, the okay. tools uh -huh. to fishing. Oh, interesting. And uh, yeah, we are looking forward to that. Uh, when it will be aired? Tomorrow or the day after tomorrow? Uh, it will be in days. I'll okay. keep it as a secret. Oh, uh, yeah, the secret. <laughs> okay. You know. Okay. Right. Okay. So, uh, if you have, if you want to uh, follow the latest um, some kind of like ice fishing, uh, CDTM will have more stories coming up in the next few days' time. So stay tuned. And this is a reporter, Guan Yang and Yuri, reporting from the boom chilling winters uh, in northeastern China. The annual ice fishing uh, activities is taking place. In the next 10 minutes, we will leave the cameraman near the ice pole to see whether or not we are having a good day of fishing. But for now, I really feel like my my mouth uh, is free. I can't. I, I can't, can't feel my face anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so cold. We need to find somewhere warm. Uh, yeah. We're going to get in the car and just to warm up ourselves. But don't worry, we'll leave the cameraman here for the next 10 minutes. And uh, thanks the for cameraman watch. is already a frozen man. Uh, but he's, he, he's more equipped. <laughs> yeah. He's got long, uh, long coat and uh, being a, a, a thicker glow. So he's like he's like a sculpture there. It's uh -huh. frozen sculpture there. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. So me and Yuli, we will get somewhere warm and we will leave our cameraman for this uh, special moment. We can see fish now coming up. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh,